under its investment policies aimed at providing for the promotion of developing an economy which is sustainable and growing further by mobilizing and attracting foreign and domestic investors through partnership with the government. Namibia, a Southern African country, has a great vision of putting in place a number of mega projects concerning energy infrastructures such as roads or highways and so on in order to become regionally competitive not only in stable political environment but also in terms of economic development a number of mega projects in namibia are underway prior to completion and others are coming up as we're going to look at them Namibia Green Hydrogen Project After a successful bid on coming up with Green Hydrogen Project, Hyphen Hydrogen Energy and the government of Namibia plus a number of funders are coming up with the development of Namibia's first fully vertically integrated Green Hydrogen Project on gigawatt scale being considered to be the largest green hydrogen project in sub-saharan africa after its completion this mega project will sit on over 4000 kilometers squared of land in south Kayeb National Park as the first step of Namibia government is strategy of coming up with a large-scale industry concerning green hydrogen which will be having branches in a number of regions in Namibia. The interesting fact about this project is that over 10 billion US dollars which is the capital investment of this project is equivalent to Namibia's annual GDP with the deadline of this project set before 2030 its renewable energy capacity or call its production will be 2 million tons of ammonia per annum from phases 1 and 2 each at 1 million tons of ammonia hydrogen production from phases 1 and 2 each having 175,000 tons per annum and using electrolyzers for splitting water into hydrogen and oxygen in phases 1 and 2 at 1.5 gigawatts each and 3.5 gigawatts renewable energy for each phase namibians have a reason to smile because over 90 percent of the jobs from this project will be available for them with over 3,000 people employed Serim Ludari's Wind Power Plant Under partnership of China Energy Engineering Corporation and Remin Investments Company from Namibia, Serim Ludari's Wind Power Plant, a 50 MW wind power plant, will be located in Ludari's town along the coast of Namibia at a cost of over 96 million US dollars. This project is expected to be commissioned in July of 2025, after which the energy generated from this plant will be provided and sold to Namibia's electricity company known as Nam Power. This will positively improve Namibia's power generation by reducing on the power it imports from neighboring countries such as South Africa, Zimbabwe and Zambia. Langa Heinrich Uranium Mine Revamp Project Owned by Paldin Energy Limited, Lang Heinrich Urania Mai, a large open pit located in the western part of Namibia, 
in the Erong region and one of the largest uranium reserves in Namibia is under improvement through maintenance. With over 600 contractors working on the project, their mine is slated to be restarted in 2024 with a restart budget of about 2.1 billion Namibian dollars, which is greatly supported by improvement in the uranium prices. During the first quarter of 2024, they awaited hope of seeing the first production from this mine will be achieved by Paldin Energy and their partners in this project at a budget of a whopping 118 million US dollars. As the world is moving away from the use of oil as a source of energy in a number of ways in order to ensure decarbonization which comes with green energy which is safe and at the same time living a clean environment through fresh air and reduced contamination. Nuclear energy production does not release greenhouse gases, so the uranium from this mine will have a positive impact because uranium is the primary source of nuclear energy. Groot Solar PV Park Located in Karas, Namibia, Groot Solar PV Park is a planned 80 megawatt solar PV power project. This project in Namibia will be developed on a single phase basis, and 2023 is the lucky year for the actual execution of the project, with hope of completion in 2024, where power will commercially be obtained from it. The capacity of power from this solar PV park is planned to be over 160 gigawatt hours of electricity coming from a ground mounted solar PV park. All the responsibility of coming up with this project is under Groot Glass Limited, with over 284 million US dollars being expected to be injected in this project, which will consist of over 250,000 modules. TerraSun Energy Solar PV Park. Being expected to be expanded to 81 megawatts total energy, TerraSun Energy Solar PV Park is a solar PV project planned to be installed in Arandis town of Aron region of Namibia. The responsibility of ensuring installation is between local project developer Natra Energy and British independent power producer Globlek with an investment of over 69 million US dollars which will be injected in the project. The power generated from this solar PV park will be 227 700 megawatt hours on an annual basis. The power is also expected to be sold to large energy users in Namibia with prices competitively considered through a way known as Modified Single Buyer Regulation or MSB of Namibia being reviewed and planned through Namibia Electricity Control Board. This way of pricing allows independent power producers to directly supply power on a local and international basis for grid-connected power supply. Namibia Zambia Oil and Gas Pipeline Two Southern African countries and neighbors are planning to come up with an oil and gas pipeline. 
This pipeline is expected to be originating from Namibia's coastal town of Walvis Bay and the end point of this project will be the capital city of Zambia, Lusaka. The two countries have been previously making attempts for this project. But through a memorandum of understanding, the hope of seeing this project in place is near. This project is a private sector-led Namibia Zambia Malt Product Petroleum and Natural Gas Pipelines project. The aim of the project is not only between Namibia and Zambia but also there are intentions of supplying countries located in the Southern African Development Community or simply SADC region. After its completion in either 2025 or 2026, this project is expected to be delivering a production of 100,000 to 120,000 barrels per day through a 2,000 km oil and gas pipeline. Hosea Kutako International Airport Road to Dual Carriageway Construction of a new dual carriageway or road is underway from Namibia's capital Windhoek reaching Hosea Kutako International Airport of Namibia at a cost of over 1 billion Namibian dollars. The 21 kilometers road begins at the Dodabis Junction and ends at the Hosea Kutako International Airport. The project, which is being constructed in phases and now in its third phase, after its construction will have a dual carriageway, three interchanges at Dodabis, Son Leighton and Hosea Kutako International Airport, and two river bridges drainage features. The project has created over 200 jobs for Namibians. The supervision of the project is under Namibia Road Authority, while the contract of the project is Zong May Engineering Group and consultant of the project is VKE Namibia Consulting Engineers. Bayness Hydroelectric Power Plant With completion and commissioning expected between 2028 and 2029, Bayness Hydroelectric Power Station, a 600 megawatt power station, is planned to be constructed at the border between Namibia and Angola across the Kunene River. Namibia and Angola will have an equal share of the power of 300 megawatts from this plant at a cost of over 1.2 million dollars. The owner of the project is Nam Power. With construction commencing from 2023, the hydro reserve capacity of 2650 million cubic meters with a generation capacity of 610 gigawatt hours is expected to be obtained from this plant. The turbines of this plant will have capacities of two turbines with 71 megawatts capacities, three turbines at 156.75 megawatts each. Kudu Conversion Gas Field, Namibia Being in feed stage with completion and commercial production expected in 2026, Kudu Conversion Gas Field final investment decision is to be approved in 2024 and a cost of 880 million US dollars is the first planned cost. 
with peak production from this field being expected in 2031 at approximately 83 barrels per day of crude oil and condescent and 108 million cubic feet per day of natural gas the energy production from the field is assumed to reach 24 7 with three wells being expected to be drilled including floating production units and subsidiaries a complex assembly of valves flow pathways piping and connectors placed between the well head and the flow line or manifold to monitor and control production flow and manage gas or field injection during production the field is to recover 101.16 million barrels of oil equivalent and will comprise of 0.49 million barrels of crude oil and condescent and 604.03 billion cubic feet of natural gas reserves. The owners of the field are BW Energy and National Petroleum Corporation of Namibia on Namco with contractors in feed engineering or design being Woodhill Frontier, JP Kenny and Technip Energies plus Manica Group Namibia. Thanks for your time and don't forget to subscribe and also leave a like for our videos.